What's up YouTube? I have another video for you today. Um, I filmed this once. Actually, technically I tried filming it twice. The second time it turned out perfectly fine. However, I noticed that um, apparently, unfortunately, this iPhone that I have it has a really nice camera, but it doesn't automatically, like I don't think there's a way I can go into like settings on the camera app or whatever and set it to where if I go to video, it will always be in 4K HD um, 60 pan or whatever. You know, there's like 30 and then 60, and I always go 60 with 4K, and it has a much nicer resolution. So I'm going to go ahead and film this video again, and this video is going to be on this. Now, you might be asking yourself, but Comrade T-Man, what is this? What is in this 10-cent cheap-ass box that you are trying to impress us with? Well, I will tell you. So what I have in this box, there's two companies that I know of, at least. I'm sure there's other companies still. Um, I don't think there's any in America making cigarette cases anymore. But in Germany, there's two companies, or main ones at least, still making cigarette cases. That is Hasenware Germany, which is this one that I got mine from. They only make in stamped German steel or brass. And then there's Germanos, which is, uh, I think, like slightly more sought after than this company which i mean can be seen in the prices of theirs that are made in germany versus german us which is made in germany as well kind of like um if you're into fountain pens mont blanc versus pelican both german companies one is way more fucking expensive than the other it's like that but I know Germanos makes solid silver and solid gold cigarette cases, but in my mind, who the fuck wants a weak metal as their cigarette case anyway? Because the main purpose in my mind is functionality, protecting your cigarettes from getting crushed in your pocket, in your car, sitting down, shit like that if you put it in your back pocket. Because I've had times where even in my front pocket I've fallen down or run into something and my pack of cigarettes is crushed along with several of my cigarettes and I am very pissed and not happy. I've had this for, I don't know, three or four days now. I've been enjoying it quite a lot. However, I, the last couple days I haven't been carrying it because I ran out of cigarettes at work or not actually at work, yesterday, because um, I started smoking more, which uh, I don't advise any of you do, but that's just me, my stupid decisions. Um, I've started smoking more, so I ran out of cigarettes quicker, And um, but today at work, about a half hour before I got off, I uh, ran next door to the tobacco shop that um, doesn't ID and bought these to put in there, which I thought was nice. And just to clarify, I'm not under under 18 um i'm under 21 though which again anyone living in the united states knows they raised the age and didn't give a grandfather clause but luckily i still have ways of obtaining cigarettes for my addiction anyway as you can see it has the company's logo stamped in there and then it just says made in germany which you can read right there and this actually does a lot better job than the last time I tried showing the Made in Germany. You couldn't even read it on the camera. Anyway, this company offers this model, same exact, like this. However, it doesn't have this border on it. And this one, MSRP, I think is around 30 bucks, which isn't bad for a high-quality German steel-made cigarette case. Um, then they had another model that had a spring in here in the hinge so when you open it you don't have to open it yourself it actually just comes open you can pull the cigarette out and then close it and it is one solid sheet of steel that is stamped this is kind of stamped but then the corners are bent and then it's soldered as you can see in there and then plated with chrome or whatever this protective plating is either nickel or chrome i think it's chrome but um anyway and then they take a metal a band and uh, bend it on a machine and then they um, attach it and then you know run the hinge pin through and then that's how they make this model um, I really do like the $55 model which is the solid one that's one solid sheet that's stamped um, with the spring a little bit better but I wasn't willing to pay $50 for something I'm just gonna that just needs to serve the purpose of protecting my cigarettes and not giving out on me which this one has yet to do granted it's only been five days but um, one disappointing note 
um, about this is uh, where I work now, um, I get a lot of tips. And what I like to do is just have this filled up with the cigarettes I'm going to smoke for the day. And then this is where I can put tip money. However, tip money winds up building up in here. And uh, if you have a bunch of ones, like let's say you had $20 in ones, you won't be able to close this if you fold it over in half and then into quarters and then slide it in like that. It's too, it wants to come apart. Like if I set the money on a, under like bricks for 24 hours, it wouldn't be a problem. But um, since the money wants to unfold, it keeps this from staying closed. As you can see, it does have a really nice clasp, but this clasp just isn't strong enough to withhold the pressure of um, 20 to 30 $1 bills wanting to unfold inside of it. So it just pops open which is kind of unfortunate. I was kind of hoping um, that the hinge or the uh, latch would be a little bit stronger. But other than that, like if I have this filled with nothing but cigarettes or slightly less money, like let's say two 20s, a 10 and a five, I mean, it's not coming open. I mean, even if you try to open it without using the clasp, it's not gonna come open unless you overfill it to the point where it just, the um, tension is too much but anyway so that's going to be my video on this cigarette case do i like it do i hate it i honestly like it it's a really decent cigarette case for the money i would advise any of you if you are smokers and you work somewhere where you're constantly running into shit or um you have a problem where your cigarettes constantly get crushed i honestly would recommend you getting one of these i'm not going to say go get um a hasenware germany one, I mean, you can even get the $7 ones at a smoke shop, but granted, they're not going to be as high quality and probably will break in a couple years, whereas this is meant to last more of like a lifetime. But anyway, that's going to do it for the cigarette case um, that I have. I do also want to show um, an update on my Silver Armor Zippo, which I will be carrying both of these together, not in the same pocket, but together. Um, this is after literally only five minutes of carrying it in my pocket, just like this, nothing over it with coins. And the coins that I got, um, I got when I purchased the cigarettes to bring home and put into this cigarette case. And um, whereas if this had been chrome, there would only be like four or five scratches, but since it's silver, it picks up on scratches way more easy, which you can see there's scratches all over this thing. And normally I just keep it in my pocket pretty much by itself, but um, I had changed, so I was like, what the hell? I mean, might as well see, you know, how scratched up it is. And honestly, I don't really mind. I don't really mind this look on a solid silver Zippo. Again, um, I kind of am of the philosophy of Zippo fanatic. If you're gonna own a very expensive luxury lighter. You might as well carry it, love it, enjoy it, and uh, create a, um, what's it called? Not really a bond, because it's a uh, inanimate object, but what's it called? Character. Yeah, that's it. You know, build up character with the lighter. So, but that's my opinion. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the video. Um, if you liked uh, the video, you can like, share, comment, subscribe. Anything you do helps, and I will see you in the next video.